Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to create a .NET Core project from Visual Studio and how to deploy the same project to AWS Beanstalk. This is very simple and straightforward to do that. First let us create a new project. It is already listed here. If it is not listed, please search for AWS. So you can either create functional project or Lambda or different Lambda projects here, but I need serverless application. So in the serverless application also you have uh, plenty of options. I'm going to select only the serverless application with the .NET Core C Shop. So let us name it uh, AWS serverless to deploy to EBS elastic bin style. So here I'm going to select ASP.NET Core Web App as I'm going to create a .NET Core project and deploy that app. ASP.NET Core project to the Elastic Green Start. It takes um, approximately one minute until that I'll pass. Once your project uh, is ready, you will land to this particular page and you can check your HTML pages, search your HTML pages. Meanwhile, I'm going to deploy that to the local IAS Express just to test what the page is and how it looks like. So once your page is ready, you can see that page is congratulations. You have your ASP.NET Core Web application is now serverless, right? So the same application I'm going to deploy to the AWS. So simply right click on the project and publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Here you just need to add uh, your AWS login information by clicking uh, on add another account. So you can create a profile name, just randomly you can give any name uh, as per your requirement. The next one is uh, access key ID and uh, secret key. Uh, so this, this two will allow you to access your AWS resources without giving or without sharing your credentials. So how to get the key ID? and access key. Simply log in into your AWS console and click on your ID here. Click on my security credentials. For timing, I'm canceling this window. So click on the access keys. You can either generate a new one or you can use a existing one. I'm just uh, creating a new one for time being. So I'm creating a new one. Show access key. Just better copy this both to your notepad for safer side. So I'm closing this, back to your Visual Studio, add the profile. So I now have secret key and my access key ID. Okay, now you can take a standard AWS account and just click on OK. So here, you can you I have two profiles the one which I created is like my AWS deployment to EBS select that and select a region so I'm selecting Mumbai as a region here and click next I'm creating a new application environment so in the environment you can select uh, based on your requirement dev or test or fraud for timing I'm creating a dev and check the availability of this particular URL. This URL is available. Then we are good to go. Click on next. Here you need to select uh, the container type. I'm going with the default one, 64-bit Windows Server 2016. 
with the IS 10.0 and instance type there are different type of instances C is a com compute optimized similarly you have uh, general purpose and uh, memory optimized and all those stuff so for time being I can I'm going with the C4 uh, though it is a main service the underlying infrastructure is going to be your EC2 instances that is the reason you have to select your instance type as well so I selected this key pair I'm going with the DevOps uh, use custom EMI with the thing uh, I'm not using a custom EMI I'm just going with the single instance environment and if you want to go with the uh, VPC yes you can go ahead with the use non default VPC so all good I'm just clicking on next So I'm just selecting a default role, which is already given by default, Elastic Beanstalk EC2 role. If you if you want to create a different rules, but uh, definitely you can uh, customize that by going to through the portal, or you can create one of the. Uh, I mean, you can select one of this role. So click next. All good to go ahead. If you want to enable your tracing reports, such kind of logs and all those stuff. Uh, you can simply enable these things for timing I, I don't want all those stuff because it will lead to the extra billing I'm clicking on the next so everything is ready now open environment status when the wizard closes right so enable that and then cl click on the deploy it will take little time after uh, approximately one to two minutes you will see this message published to elastic beanstalk environment now go back to your portal so on the console you can select elastic beanstalk if it is not appearing here you can search and find it out click on the elastic beanstalk so this is the one i created just now this is this was my earlier one if you see the naming convention dev ebs dev right click on that creating aws it's still in under the progress as I mentioned, it will take approximately one to two minutes. So meanwhile, you can go back and check uh, here. The message is all good. Uh, I, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, if you if, if you want to run AWS project on your uh, Visual Studio, you need to have a extension for that. Go to extensions uh, menu, manage extensions. Under this, you can search for AWS. So this is the AWS toolkit which I have, which I have already installed. If uh, so, first you install this before you start all this process. Without this, you can't find any of AWS projects. So let us go back to the console. I'm refreshing the console here to see whether it is ready. With the deployment it's still taking minutes so let me click on the url and see whether how it reacts it's saying access is denied because it is still under the progress so sometimes it takes more time so finally it came to this page after continuous refreshments so now my elastic beanstalk project is ready um, I already have URL if you don't have a URL just simply click on this URL so this is deployed to my elastic beanstalk this is a serverless feature you don't need to maintain your servers everything will be taken care by the elastic beanstalk uh, such as uh, scalability high availability uh, security all those stuff will be taken care so you don't need to worry about all those parameters so for safer side let us uh, delete this go to actions sorry uh, go back to your elastic beanstalk uh, dashboard and uh, actions delete the application just to be sure that uh, you are not ending up with the surprised bills So I'm just copying and pasting the application name to confirm deletion so that it is deleted 
So make sure that you are deleting all the relevant resources created to that particular EBS. Uh, that's it for today. Hope uh, you found it uh, easy to deploy to the AWS from the Visual Studio. Thanks for watching my videos.